Hey, welcome to Broken Bones Distillery. I'm Josh. I'm Erasmo, and we're going to show you how to use our enzymes the easiest way possible. So right here, we're going to work with a yellow dent corn. This is just a normal cracked corn. So this is what it looks like after it's been milled. Uh, we like a nice fine mill, a nice fine grind to expose, expose more of those starches uh, that we can get a better conversion on our grains. All right, everybody, we have our water at uh, over 200 degrees. We have three pounds of milled corn. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix these two together and you use 1.6 milliliters of our alpha for every 10 gallons or 30 pounds of grain. Pour that in and we're gonna get mixing. Now that we're mixed really well, we are sitting at, it takes a second to climb up, but while that's coming up to temp, we're going to add in our alpha and start mixing again. All right, that is mixed very well. We have our alpha in already, and we are sitting at right around 170 degrees. You want to let it sit for 30 minutes, but for this video, we're going to take a gravity reading right now. Now you can choose to ferment on the grain and keep all the grain in there. We're just straining it just to get a good gravity reading without the grain in with the water so it doesn't interfere with the reading. We're reading right at about 1.05. And that's just immediate. It's supposed to sit for 30 minutes. Yeah, the longer you let it sit, the more that those enzymes are gonna work. And you're gonna be able to get a higher reading, a higher gravity reading. That's pretty good. Take sugar. No. After this, your 30 minute rest, you're going to cool, start cooling down. Once you get to under 140, you can add in your gluco, and that gluco is going to turn all those dextrins into sugars. Make it real easy, real simple. If you want, you can wait till it gets to 100 or under, add your gluco, mix well, and pitch your yeast at the same time. That's going to take a minute. But this is regular dent corn, no sugar added, and within 90 seconds, we're at 1.05. We'll come back here in about 25 minutes and we'll take another reading. Hey, everybody. We are sitting at a 1.08 now. We let it sit for 30 minutes and then we rapidly started cooling it. Once it got under 140, we added our gluco, which is 0.8 milliliters for 10 gallons, mixed it real well, and continued to cool. We're at about 95 degrees right now, and we're reading 1.08, which, if we look at our little handy chart, it's, it's, it's past 1.08. It's about a 10.5%. Yeah, 10.5% to 11, almost. And it's still got a 
about 10 degrees to cool before we pitch yeast. But and those that's there. That uh, glucose will still continue to work as it cools down, um, and it converts those uh, dextrins into sugar and works on those starches as well. Let's get let's get you a close up of the hydrometer. Here's our hydrometer. We're gonna give it a spin. And we will turn the tube. There you go. Just a little bit above 1.08, 10 and a half to almost 11% alcohol with only three pounds per gallon of yellow dent corn.